The Crow was close to being a doomed movie after star Brandon Lee was killed in a handgun accident. It was days before completion, and Lee's work was not finished. So how did they put Brandon into scenes he was not originally in? Entertainment Tonight reveals the magic as the crow flies. This may look like Brandon Lee, but it is not. You are watching a body double. A computer electronically replaced his face with this close-up of the real Brandon Lee. Such cutting-edge technology helped save the crow from being shelved following Lee's accidental death. The special effects team of DreamQuest Images created a total of 52 shots for the film. Seven involved the late actor. And so we've composited the shot. The only element, true element that we're missing is the live-action actor blue screen. Exactly. Some shots, such as this computer-generated reflection, last about two seconds. The most difficult scene is this five-second shot of Lee returning to his apartment. It is crucial to the plot, but it was never filmed. Fortunately, this footage of Lee in a rainy alley was. Of course, there was very limited footage of him without makeup. Step one, creating a digital moving outline. We use this, if you will, as a cookie cutter which allows us to stamp his image, pull him from the, uh, back, uh, from the alleyway scene, and place him into the actual scene that we want him. A shot of the empty apartment becomes the background. Then it was also necessary for us to add some drips of rain in his apartment to make it look as if it was... Uh, which or leaking through leaking the roof. Leaking through the roof. Right. Then, with the aid of computers, Brandon Lee walks into a scene he never really shot. And I think translated into hours, that's probably between five and 650 uh, hours, 500 to 650 hours uh, of direct labor on this shot. DreamQuest images also added elements, including this foreboding landscape, this helicopter, and its searchlight. There are seven shots of Brandon Lee, total about 30 seconds in an almost two-hour movie. This is not a movie where you want to look at and say, wow, here's, you know, here's an effect, a great effect. If we've done our job well, people won't know that we worked on the film necessarily, and I think um, that's what we're proudest of. With its success at the box office over the weekend, there will almost certainly be a sequel to The Crow. Producers say the bird itself and the concept are the keys to continuing the saga.